Hey Geekies! Welcome, 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 welcome to day four of Winter Emus. How is it going by so freaking fast? Honestly. Anyway, today we are talking about three great real-time strategy tactical video games. <laughs> okay, so for our first game. There's so many choices in this genre. And I love so many of these games. As a kid, I played so freaking many of these like tactical games or these real-time strategies you know we're talking like command and conquer or um uh, yeah a lot my brain is just like everywhere <laughs> anyway let's just talk about the first game the first game that we're picking is heroes of might and magic 3. so this is a game right where you have a kingdom and you build different parts with inside your kingdom to allow you to acquire different kinds of troops then when you go out into the main world you're running around you're finding items you're fighting monsters out there and you're also battling other kingdoms and your aim here is simply to defeat all of the bad guys uh and clear out the area and then you sort of rinse and repeat it's that simple uh you're just basically making your your home place this like massive citadel with amazing troops and all the rest of it. It's a really great, really fun game. There is a new game coming out this year that is basically Heroes of Might and Magic, but in the far distant future. And I'm really excited for it. We'd love to play it at EGX. We haven't talked about EGX yet. Or I haven't talked about EGX yet in my timeline. You might all have started to see the vlogs because I should have already recorded, well, I should be recording them soon. And then editing them and posting them out before this because this is Winter Hemus, which is at the end of the month, and I need stuff before the end of the month. Anyway, you don't need to know all of this. Behind the scenes nonsense, woo! Um, yeah, here's my magic free. It's great. Uh, if you know our buddy Dren Hatamata, he was doing a Let's Play series of the Heroes of Might and Magic games. Uh, so we'll put a card up here about now. Thank you, future me, editing and all of that. Um and yeah let's talk about the next game okay so the next game is one that's going to appease every final fantasy fan here because we're talking final fantasy tactics now there is two maybe there's three i do not remember there's definitely two final fantasy tactics i played that might have been a third one on the psp that i didn't pick up um but we've got final fantasy tactics on the game boy advance i played that I loved it so freaking much. And then that whole judge thing and everything else that's going on in Final Fantasy Tactics ended up being the focus of Final Fantasy XII and it's the same freaking world. But instead of where Tactics is an isekai, uh, Twelve isn't. You're playing characters who are actually from that world and not being ported in through a mystical, magical book. Uh, but yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics. You've got your uh, square-based battlefields and you need to place your party around uh, when you start and then it's all about the tactical usage of your attacks which have areas of effect and all the rest of it and making sure that you take out all the enemies before they take out you sometimes you'd have different requirements for the fight so it would be like um take out all their healers or cause them to flee or other simple like rules uh but then you also always had extra mini mini things to like try and pull off in the combat which would aim to further gain you benefits xp or the rest of it but yeah we had a lot of fun with that game uh, so it's final fantasy tactics on the game boy advance that we're talking about here not any of the other ones but the tactics series is great and you should definitely pick it up if you haven't played it uh sadly i don't think it's been made available outside of the game boy advance so i'm hoping hi nintendo if you are watching this and also Hi, Square Enix. If you are also watching this, please, could you talk and could you get Final Fantasy Tactics out on the Game Boy Advance uh, ad, uh, app on, on the Switch Online, please? Yeah, yeah, that would be very nice. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you should, uh, you know, you can get a Game Boy Advance fairly cheap. I don't know the price of Tactics. I'll put it here if we found the price. It's probably very, very concerning. Uh, as a lot of the Game Boy Advance games have slowly become big expenses. Anyway, we should talk about the next uh, tactical real-time strategy game. The third game is getting a new game this year, which is amazing. 
I didn't even realize it became um, remade and reavailable either until like last year, which was just a great surprise to me. We are talking about Homeworld. If you don't know what Homeworld is, where have you been? What rock have you been hiding under? Honestly. Uh, no, it's fair enough. Homeworld did not seem to have uh, a big following and now it's kind of booming up again, which is very nice. But what it is, is if you think about things like Command and Conquer, um, you're, you know, you're selecting troops and you're building bases and then you're uh, building your uh, infantry to get out on the field or you're building your different other vehicles. Homeworld's that, but in space. You've got your big mothership. You're building out all your fighters and other types of like um, space vehicles. And then when you take them out to fight as you're traveling around into the, each of the combat worlds, it's full uh, X and Y axes uh, and Z axes combat. So you um, aren't just running across the flat land. You have to think about how you handle things to take out these enemies coming from all kinds of directions. And so you'll do things like you'll get a cluster and you have them grouped together and say put them into a sphere pattern and then uh, have them have an action so that they expand out to consume uh, enemy ships into their area and then they will just charge in and just sort of like crossing and shooting and taking out ships. And there's other sort of layouts that you can come up with because of that kind of concept. And... It's really good. I got pretty far in the game uh, before we ended up selling our PC and then I lost the bloody game. Uh, so I, I will be replaying it. Um, I don't think that we're going to end up doing it as a stream or anything. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to play it in my own time for fun. But when the new one comes out, we'll consider what we're going to do. So that's been our three great tactical RTS games. Uh, let us know in the comments below. What what are your favourite games? What are great games in your opinion that people should play uh, of the tactical and uh, real-time strategy? You know, maybe it's XCOM, maybe it's Mario and Rabbids. You know, just let us know. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's a like? And subscribe if you haven't. Hit the freaking notification bell if you want to know when tomorrow's video goes out. Because if you don't do it, then you ain't gonna know. And you're going to have to wait for the algorithm to show me some love. And real well, I have a love-hate relationship with the algorithm. As in, it loves me sometimes and it hates me other times. I don't really know why. <laughs> um, until tomorrow, when we're talking about free games.